Hi friends, I am Nivek. So in this video, I am demonstrating the working of my COVID reporter app which I had developed using UiPath apps feature. So by using this app, we can able to get the COVID cases of each and every country which we are providing as an input. And in addition to that, we can get a uh, graphical visualization of the COVID case trend of each country. In this way, I had developed this application. So let's see how it works. So first, let me run it. Now you can see the interface like this. So first what we need to do is we need to get the country details for which uh, we need to get the COVID cases according to our input. So first to get the country list so that we can select the country to get the COVID details, we need to click on country list button. This country list button, when you click on this country list button, it will trigger a UiPath process in a background which will, uh, which will actually return a collection of the country details, country list for which we need to find the COVID details. So when you click on this country list, you can see that a UiPath process is triggered in the background. Now, after that, if you click on this get country details, you will get the list of all the countries. And this list of all the countries is generated only after when you click on the get country list button. So, if you select any of the country, uh, country option here, you will get the uh, COVID reports in the below container. So let's say I take the case of uh, India. So when I click India, again a UiPath process will be get triggered here that you can see. And after that you will output the new confirm, total confirm, new deaths, total death, new recovered, total recovered. Okay. And I already told you that I have also developed a feature which actually helps to visually plot these uh, details in a graph and show it, uh, show it in a line graph. So for getting the COVID details in a graphical format of the country India, what we need to do is we need to click on get visualized data. This get visualized data will actually plot the graph for that particular country that we have provided as an input in the drop down. And for that a UI path process is being triggered here. Yeah, you can see that you get a COVID uh, visualization in terms of confirmed cases, deaths, active cases, recovered cases, etc. You can see in the Y axis, it is a numbers in terms of numbers, while in the X axis, it is in the terms of months, you can say uh, February, from February, March, like uh, it actually plot this graph by taking daily, daily cases. Starting from February, it plot it plot based on the daily daily cases. Okay, up to October you can see here. Okay, so in that way this graph is being plotted. Or uh, let's say we want the COVID details of let's say uh, one another country. Let's say we want the COVID details of Argentina. So what happens again? A UI path process will be triggered in the background. Yeah. Now we can see that uh, uh, for the country Argentina, we can get the uh, new confirmed, total confirmed, new death, total death, new recovered, total recovered cases. And if you want the graphical visualization of these details for the country Argentina, you click on get visualized data. Again a UI path process will be triggered and uh, now uh, it will generate a graph for this and it will display it. Yes, you can see the COVID data of Argentina and can see it here. Okay. So this is actually the working of my application COVID reporter and uh, for generating the graph I had used Python code. Uh, where we have used matplotlib library etc for uh, graph generation okay 
so this is overall uh, way of working of my application thanks for watching it